Howdy guys, welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. I am on the ranch, I've taken the uh, job of assistant, protector, and it is 1 o'clock in the morning. The girl's gonna come out at 2 and we're gonna start our thing. And this is going to be creepy. Now there's actually a crate out here, if you roll into it you get a drop of 30 arrows, but I stupidly rolled over it, so that might become a problem, I'm not sure. There she is. I don't know if you can talk to her, but yeah, I'm here. Well, you can't talk to her. Wow, she looks serious. Holy cow. Dang it, I didn't get a look. Okay, so... Come inside, now we can talk to her, right? 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 Maybe you can't. Well, let's get back outside then, they're probably coming. Yikes. It's gonna start any second now, and it's gonna last from 2 until the sun comes up at 6. Now, I actually have time moving fast. Um... I'm not sure if you can slow time down to slow these guys down. And even if you did slow time down, it would still last twice as long, the whole, you know, assault on the barn. Now there's two directions. Why am I doing that? There's two directions that can come at the barn from behind, here and over here. But most of them will come from in front, so... And you won't have unlimited arrows for this, so be ready. Wait, there's a crate there again. And the music here is really scary. Yeah, I'm just gonna you know, go crazy with the arrows because uh, because I don't care about running out. Just don't let them get to the barn. That's all. And like I said, they'll try to approach it from behind. But if you stand right in front of the barn, you can see out both directions where they're coming at it. But you want to make sure. Oh shit! 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 He's right there. Oh man, that was a close one. I wasn't watching that side very well. <laughs> okay, I'm down to 22 arrows. And like I said, you're going to have to last until 6 in the morning with this, and they're going to just keep coming, so... You can ride the horse to do this if you want, I guess, but I always just stayed down here and... You know, just took him off from the ground. You see the sun's starting to come up over there. Here he comes again from this direction. They're pretty slow. I can't imagine how they could possibly get any slower. But that's why I was, like, curious. I don't know if, like, if you slow down time, if it would slow them down. Because I know it slows other things down in the game, physically. And, uh... <clears throat> so, but even if you, like I said, even if you could slow time down, it wouldn't really matter, because then you just have to last twice as long, or three times as long. You know. Yeah, the sun's coming up. It's five. So we're almost done. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. They're all over the place. Ah, oh, oh, the sun killed him. Ha <laughs> ha! Get out of here. I saved your cows. That was close, actually. Yeah, they're pretty close there. We did it. We won. Thank you. Thanks to you, the cows are giving thanks, too. Here's Romani's thanks. When you drink it, put your hand on your hip and take a big gulp like we do here in the ranch. Nice. Got a milk bottle. But most importantly, we got a bottle! And you can see your face through it. That's kind of funny. Yay, we did it. It's almost time for my sister to get up, so I have to get back to bed. See you later, little hero. Aw. Thanks. Well, that was kind of nice. <laughs> I didn't expect uh, her to call me that. I forgot that she did. Yeah, so everything's okay now. We also have Epona now, so you can pretty much call her at any time from anywhere out on Termina Field, and guess what? It's the morning. Well, it's not quite 6 yet. I guess the time runs out at 5.30, I'm not sure. Anyway, we'll watch the day progress, or whatever. Hey, the room is getting smaller! No, it's not! He's getting bigger! Ooh, That's creepy, too, though, you know? <laughs> anyway... Now on the second day, there's actually a whole nother mission that we can do here. Which is going to involve helping the big sister. First we help the little one, now we get to help the big one. Yeah, I know, I'm such a pervert after what I said in that last episode, but I guess protection motivated by perversion is better than no protection at all. I'm just kidding. I don't actually, like... Okay, anyway, let's talk. Here we go. Oh my, hello! Reminds them to take our milk to Clocktown, too. You're looking after the place. The cows would be all alone otherwise. Yes, sister. 
I'm going by wagon into town. Would you like a ride? I'll be leaving about 6 this evening, so you can join me if you'd like. Hmm, I think I might just do that. Yeah, she said that. I just want to make sure she didn't say anything else. Romani wants to go too. You can't. Oh, sorry. Notice she frowns at her sister and then smiles at the cow. She likes that cow. What a nice cow. Anyway, so let's just go ahead and... Well, can we get some arrows here? Did I actually run out of arrows when I did that just now? Like, I used my last arrow on the... Hmm. Well. So let's go ahead and fast forward the time. Can we do both of these in one video? Maybe. I guess we'll have to see. Well, we can skip this animation. I don't know why I'm keep letting it show. 6 p.m. And now that it's 6 p.m., the wagon's here. So, say hello. Uh, I can't... I, I, I can't talk to you. I'm too distracted by how hot you are, man. <laughs> Sorry. I can't... Okay. Alright. Attack, jump, speak. There we go. Oh, good evening. I'm going to town now to deliver milk. Would you like a ride? Sure. I'd love a ride. This is so romantic. That's great. Tonight I'm kind of lonely. I welcome company. How could you be lonely, man? Man, one trip through Clock Town, you probably have six dogs following you on the way out. And by dogs, I mean guys. I guess it's been a while now since our father died. I'm trying to take care of the ranch, but things have been getting unstable lately. The cows all seem bothered and frazzled, and I'm finding broken bottles everywhere. Who's doing it? I don't know. My sister Romani has been worried too. She's practicing using a bow. She says it's to stop the ghosts. Say, what are the townsfolk saying about that moon? It's bigger than before, isn't it? No! I had no idea. No, I didn't notice. But yeah, I think, uh, yeah, it's kind of big. In town I have a friend, her name's Anju. Anju. The day after tomorrow is her wedding. The day after tomorrow, so that's the fourth day. Wow, can't do much about that. I wonder if it'll fall, that thing. And here's where the fun begins. Yes, I'm quoting Han Solo. How long before we can make the jump to light speed? It'll take a few moments to get the coordinates from the Navi computer. Are you kidding? Is the right there gaining? Traveling through hyperspace ain't like dusting crops, boy. Boy, get your bow ready. Yeah, it's blocked for whatever reason. We gotta take the long way around. We take the long way through the real perverts branch. This is the one that I'm really worried about what happened originally, man. I mean, but so, obviously she's okay on the third day, but still, I wonder. <laughs> I, was, I was watching this on the Speed Gamers, because I'd you know, I didn't get to see much of Majora's Mask when I watched the Speed Gamers, but I did get to see this part. And someone told me in the chat, if you fail this, they rape her. And I was like, and I believed it for a second, and I was like, oh shit. But, so now it's like, you know, now I feel like really motivated when I do this. So. <laughs> yeah, let's kind of skip the dialogue here. Here they come. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You stay the fell back, man. You unlimited arrows again. Yeah, all right. Well, if I got unlimited arrows, I'm just gonna wail on them. Then, hey, what are you doing up there? Get back here. Yeah, I'm just gonna like non-stop wail on you guys. You know it. Wah! You know it's funny how much these guys sound like the Mother Brain in Super Metroid when they scream in agony, like when the Mother Brain screams every time you hit her with a hyper beam. But, strangely enough, I derive equal pleasure from both. You really want some, don't you? Well, you're not going to get it. All you're going to get is pain. The pain train. You're going to get the pain train. The pain train. That's right. Pain train time. Stay together like that and I can hit both of you. That's just fine. Oh, we're going downhill. I guess I better aim upward a little bit. Huh. That's right. <clears throat> well, I guess you weren't motivated enough. Because you couldn't get us. Yeah, that's right. Ha <laughs> ha. Mr. Barton was happy to get his first delivery in quite a while. Thank you. You were pretty cool. This isn't very big, but accept my thanks. 
We got Romani's mask! Wear it with C to show you're a member of blah blah blah. By doing one good deed, a child becomes an adult. How ironic! That mask is only given to a limited number of adult customers. It's proof of membership. I now acknowledge you as being an adult. You guarded the ranch's milk. This was added to your notebook. Excellent! So now that those two are taken care of. Now if you go back to the first day, the stuff will be, um... It'll be, like, undone, you know? But you'll still have the reward that you got from it, so... Even though it does matter, technically it sort of doesn't in terms of what items you have or what you can do in the game. Anyway, so in the next video, I'm gonna... I'm just gonna pause right here, and in the next video, I'll pick it up here. Or I'll probably save at the owl statue in town. And, uh, we'll see what we can do next. So, see you later!